So, yeah. Now we're continuing the journey of Zelda games. Um, I put it on hold. Because I could have played this on the GameCube, but it just wasn't ideal. I did Link's Awakening and Oracle of uh, Seasons on the GameCube. And I mean, it worked. The problem was the D-pad was just horrible on that controller. And the image wasn't great. So I ordered one of these and I was like, all right, I'll just wait for it to come in so we can have a better experience. And I mean, this thing has been fantastic so far for playing all my old cartridges, so. There's probably a save file on here. Uh, yeah, there's a few. Okay, let's just clear it all out. I probably should have done this before stream. Oh well. Alright. There we go. Oh, right, the game link. Hang on. I I'd saved the code. Hang on, hang on, how does this work? There's a code that you can enter from the previous game. Okay, hold up. I saved it. This is one of the features of this couple of games was like, what you did in one game affected the other. So I did save the code, I just need to find it. Oh, where did I put this? I completely forgot about this. Um. Give me a sec, I'll find it. Have I played all the way through Seasons? Yeah, I, I finished Seasons. I skipped one heart piece because it just would have taken too long. It's the one that it relies on um, just too much RNG. It was like... You had to plant a seed, and then it had to be as far away from the starting point as possible, and then it's a random chance, like, there's, it's, there's no guarantee. So it's just one of these things that you just have to keep repeating until you get it, and I tried, but it just, it wasn't happening, so... It was one of those things where I knew how to get it, I just didn't bother with it. Well, this is kind of embarrassing. I, I forgot about this. But I did save it, it's just... This is one of these things that I made a file for it and I don't remember what I called it. So I'm just looking through... my images folder. It was probably as a screenshot, most likely, not a text document. But yeah, I mean, let's let's talk about Breath of <laughs> I, oh, ah, ha, ha. Tears of the Kingdom. Um, what they showed looked really cool. There's there seems to be a lot of new machinery in it, which yeah, I mean, I haven't watched the trailer a second time, but there seems to be more like ancient machine. I got it. There it is. Got it. Found it. And I'm really digging just the dark undertones that the game is bringing. All the vehicles look really cool. There's one that, for some reason, looks like a farming vehicle. I'm not sure if that's what it was, but I was like, wait, is that a farming vehicle? Anyway. Okay. Um. So, hold on. Hooray for continuity. I called the file link code, so... I just sorted the folder by modified and just went down and I'm like, alright, when did I roughly play the game?
that's how I figured it out. You know what the annoying thing about search is? Is like, search works on the premise that you remember exactly what you're looking for. Like, isn't that messed up? Is like, in order to be able to use search, you kind of have to know what you're looking for. But in the case where you don't have to... If you don't remember what you're looking for, you just vaguely recall some details, search is kind of useless. Like, you have to use other indicators to try and find what you're looking for. Hey! So it copies over my character data. So my character's name was Lank. Because it's always... It's never Link, it's always just changing one letter. But, you know, this is American a accent Link. Lank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the big feature between this, is at the end of each game, it gives you a code. And then you enter it in the other one, and there's continuity in the sense of, like, certain actions you took. And, of course, your character name. Okay, now the only other thing I need to do here real quick... I need to create... Aren't I an organized streamer? There we go. Just a projector source, so then I can watch this full screen. Oh ho Ernox, General of Darkness. Twin Rover will not let your death go to waste. Behold. Onox. Oh yeah, right, that's the thing we killed at the end of the, the game. There you go. The troubles you cause now burn in the flame of destruction. When the flames of sorrow and despair burst into flame, we'll offer up the sacrifice. And the dark rites of the Gerudo will be complete. Then the evil king shall return. Accept our quest, hero. So I think this is the case where there's two editions of a game and it's okay. Unlike Pokemon. I mean, after a certain point, I feel like that premise of having two editions of a game was unnecessary. For the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance era, sure. But, I don't know. I feel like they could have strayed from that. Help! That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? Lank, is it? I see a Triforce on the back of your left hand. That is a sign of the Hyrule- Oh, see, this is wrong. It should be Hylian. Anyway, Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beast fled. I am Impa, nurse to Hyrule's Princess Zelda. Zelda asked me to find a singer named Nehru. Will you help me look, Lank? I'd feel safer with you nearby. Okay. This is the animal's utopia. Soon more animals will come. What a great spot. Such a clean air. Now if only time could stop. The thing that's sad about this game is originally they had three planned, but they were only able to get two out. Oh, that's it. This rock with, uh, Triforce is a sign. Could you move this rock for me, Lank? I'll, um, I'll just... Yeah. I can't do it. Makes sense with the three goddesses. Yeah, exactly. It would have been cool, but... I think the scope of what they were trying to do was probably too big. Thank you, now let's go. It would be great if one day they were to just... Not only re-release these, but like... Get that third one done. I think they should give these the same treatment that they gave Link's Awakening. How charming. Shh, I can't hear Nehru sing.
I mean, they could do the same thing they did with this, is just reuse the engine and just... Just, uh, yeah. Take what they did for Link's Awakening. The start of these games were always just... <laughs> I remember getting stuck at the start, and I think this is no exception. No, I have to hear Nehru's song. Nehru's the best singer in... Labrinia? Oh, there we go, yeah. Sit here and listen. How charming. There we go. It was the same in... In Seasons. Isn't it enchanting? The other crazy thing about these games is Capcom made them. It, like, it's rare that Nintendo kind of lets go of a, uh, a first party thing like this. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? I'm Impa and Blank, right? A bird brought message of your arrival. My name is Ralph. I am an old friend of Nehru's. We're counting on you. Thank you. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I am Nehru. I've been very worried after hearing that Labrinia would face many evil troubles. Don't worry, Nehru. I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Lank. But I doubt we'll need you. I'm sorry, Lank. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me, but I feel that something evil is approaching, just as Ralph claims. <laughs> you are correct. Not bad for a diva, not bad for Nehru. Oracle of Ages. Something terrible will happen right now, before your very eyes. Thank you, Lank. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. I've been waiting for this moment. I am Varen, Sorceress of Shadows. So she passed through a stone. Nehru, Oracle of Ages, I shall make your body my own! What are you doing to Nehru? I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go. Ha, huh, aren't you brave turning a sword at me? If you cut me, it's Nehru who dies. Nehru is no mere diva. She is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine. I can travel through time as I choose. Now a new age shall begin. The Age of Darkness. <laughs> I think I enjoyed this one more because it was closer to a link to the past. Conceptually. I shall go to the past and do as I please. But again, like the previous game, enough time has passed that I don't remember too much about these games. Wait, what? Okay, see, that makes a bit more sense. Done something to get rid of the animals. There's a, there's a joke in there that I'm not going to say. 
As I feel like it's been done to death. That Varen, she couldn't touch the stone. So she used you to get in here. I've known Nehru was the Oracle of Aegis since she was a child. I've always been beside her, protecting her. But now this Nehru! Nehru, wait, I'll save you. Nehru! Oh, Lank, you saved me. To think I was possessed. I failed Zelda. Zelda! She sensed an evil shadow drawing near Nehru and asked me to bring her to Hyrule. We should not have forgotten you, the hero of Holodrum. Look what has happened now. That Varen lady is frightening. I was forced to do her will, in spite of myself. Varen said she'd go back in time. She must hope to use Nehru's powers to launch some plan in the past. Labrinia already feels the effects. Lank, first Holodrum, now Labrinia faces its doom. I'm sorry to ask so much, but we can rely on no other. Please save Nehru. Ah yes, Zelda entrusted the shield to me. Please use it. Okay. Lank, can you go meet the Maku Tree in Lina Village? The Maku Tree is the guardian of Labrinia. Surely she can help. Nehru's house is in the woods. East of here, I'll be there. Yeah, back when Zelda games didn't give you a sword to begin with. Yeah, I need a sword. Blank, please save Nehru. But like... I think this is one of these games that's impossible to do without a sword. <laughs> okay, I, I'm guessing the tree is gonna give me the sword. But see, this feels right. I have a Super Nintendo controller that I'm using. <sighs> I just... What I don't get is like... Every time there's a new controller, a new generation, they just always try to reinvent the D-pad. And it's- they're just never any good, like... I ha- okay, I have an Xbox controller and I hate the D-pad on that thing. The PlayStation 5 controller's D-pad is decent, but it's nothing like this one. I feel like D-pads peaked in the 90s and then every other one is just... They're trying to make it look fancy. Instead of just being like, nah, you know what? D-pad's fine. Doesn't matter if it looks the same as the previous generation. I can't pick up stuff, so it's like I have to navigate my way. I can't remember if this was a launch title for the Switch service. But it is it is really amusing that yesterday I was joking about it. Just like, nah, there's no way Nintendo would do that, actually. Launch a service that makes sense that should have been there a long time ago. I'm still gonna play it this way. What? Am I losing my mind? Where do I go? I clearly need a sword. Ugh. This happened in Oracle of Seasons and I felt so stupid afterwards and I think this is gonna happen again. No, this is just a fireplace. I mean, the stairs here. I'm gonna hate the answer to this, aren't I? Okay, let's just take it one screen at a time. It's clearly not here. Let's 
it's not next door. Next door is like a dead end, right? Yep. You don't remember having this issue, but you're not sure what to do. Yeah, this happened to me in Oracle of Seasons as well, and I hated it. <laughs> I was just like, no, come on. It's the graveyard. But I, I need a sword. <laughs> what? You weren't given a shield though, so you wonder if the code changed something. But this, if it has, ah! I had a sword the whole time. <laughs> I knew, I knew I would hate the answer. But it wasn't. Was it made apparent that I had a sword? I don't think it was. All right, whatever. I knew, I knew this was going to happen again. Okay, we're good. Adventure starts now. Hey, welcome to the stream. Good lord. I mean, at least I figured it out in less than 10 minutes, so... I didn't have to look it up. can't carry them like that. Okay. Yeah, right, because they're flaming. No, it could have been worse. I definitely spent longer in uh, Oracle of uh, Seasons trying to figure out what's what. Maku Path. Maku Road. Alright. Danger. Danger! Oh yes, no, that looks very, very dangerous. Pleased to meet you, young hero. I am Maku Tree, the most dangerous thing in the known universe. Guardian of Labrinia. Varen, Sorceress of Shadows, has taken Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of the imp uh, one of impure heart. You must stop there and then soon. But to stop her, you'll need some something. Ah. I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> okay. That's the joke I said I wasn't going to make, but... The marketry. This is more of Varen's work. Like, you made it. Varen just slept through t this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and the marketry. I'm coming, Nehru. I mean, this dude is such a primary character, I'm sure we'll see him in many future Zelda games to come, right? Another one? First that guy with the weird hat appears, and then you? Ever since that girl Nehru came, there's been all sorts of weird things going on. They look like a happy family. I wish I could join them. Okay, faster this time. I'll throw it so you can catch it, Dad. The villager has it. That, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. The village has had it hard with the construction of Queen Ambie's tower, but you still gotta spend time with the kids. Hey, nice one. Yeah, so they're still constructing stuff here. The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. 
Market tree is a talking tree. But lately, she's been bothered by monsters. This is Linen Village. Wah! Oh, excuse me. We haven't had any nights... Wait, we haven't had any nights for a few... That Wait, what? This is Lina Village. Ah! Oh, excuse me. We haven't had any nights for a few days now. What the- what does that mean? Am I have am I having a stroke? This is Lina Village. Ha! Uh, excuse me. We haven't had any nights for a few days now. What- what does that mean? I think- I think the word sleep is missing. We haven't had any nights... I thought I was, like, being dyslexic and just not reading this correctly. We haven't had any nights for a few days now. Okay. Jeez. Oh, no, I don't have the money. This is off to a great start. Queen Ambie had a boyfriend, a seafaring man, but he set sail on one day and never came back. She's building a tall tower so she can search the lands for any sign of his return. It's called Ambie's Tower. It was a touching tale. So it's summer in the North Pole. I'm not even going to begin to try to understand the correlation. This isn't good. I want to deliver mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time. Okay. Ha, only the darkness can ease my heart. Guess laughing my troubles away is just a dream. Def deferred. Dude, what is this game? This is just dark. No night time? I guess. Paper! Do you have any paper? Yeah. I do love that this is a running gag, that hand. Why I built such a huge thing? It's just work, work, work. This is the entry to the tower being built to the heavens by the order of Queen Ambi. At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambi's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nehru came, the sun sits high in the sky as if time itself has stopped. Oh, no, this is being really literal. Okay, see, now now what that person is saying makes sense. It doesn't feel like they were hit on the head. So, th that is... It's trying to convey the fact that nighttime hasn't happened for a while. Okay. But, like... But, you know, upon first impression, I, don't, I didn't know that that was going on, so I feel like it's just a dumb sentence. It's like, oh no, it's broken. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard in the village. They've started calling it the Black Tower. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like it should have been explained up front that, uh, you know, it's permanently daytime here. Then it would make sense. I've already had this game gaslight me twice. This is- this is a start. There's no going past this point. Nothing up there is complete. So there's no entry. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't, l doesn't let me go past. Alright. D. 
dig, dump dig. We must finish the tower for Ambi as quickly as possible. It's been awful since that Nehru girl appeared. Now we have to work hours on end. Ah, a digging tool. That's the spirit, Sonny. Here, you can have this shovel. Can you use the shovel to move that dirt out of the way? Sweet. We're working hard on this tower. Help us out. Alright, this is what I came here for. I mean, they're using pickaxes. Hey, you can stop working. Buddy. Friend, I, I, I helped. See? You can stop now. How long have I worked? Night never comes, so I can't tell. I want to go home. This dude, this NPC right here should have been right up front in the town. We're supposed to finish tomorrow, but we're way behind schedule. We'll never make it. But if the sun never sets, then tomorrow never arrives. We must finish the tower for Ambi as quickly as possible. Like, isn't the concept of a new day is the sun setting and rising? There you go, you can all go home, I did your job for you. Yeah! Classic pity piece of heart. This is the participation award piece of heart. So, this might get annoying, but I'm going to be doing this a lot because this is a good way to make money. And I'm going to need it. Shovel's kind of OP. thing was like cutting grass as well. Just another money making thing. What is this character doing exactly? Like, this is... Okay, see, that makes sense when... Here, but... They're just using a pickaxe on the pavement. Like, something that's already done. Okay. So now this is a dungeon, I would assume? We'll see. <sighs> when I was trying to read that sentence, I thought it was talking At first I was like, okay, wait. Is the word sleep missing? Then I was thinking, no. Wait. Maybe they're talking about, like, knights in shining armor. Maybe the, the letter K is missing. No. Just never occurred to me that they were talking about literally that the sun hasn't set. I feel like that could have been translated better. Like, just say it! Oh, sorry, I'm tired. The sun hasn't set in a few days. 
But like, what's nighttime got to do with anything? Just say you're sleepy because the sun hasn't set. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst localization. There's been other ones that have been equally as bad. People can only sleep at night. Damn. Guess I must not be people. Hmm. I've messed this up, haven't I? Oh no, okay, it's just get onto it, it's not push a block onto it. You would think. Okay. But this is gonna be a fun stretch, cause yeah, the, the way I'm planning to do this is I'm just gonna be playing through each of these games until we get up to uh, Fears of the Kingdom. So, unlike before, where I was playing it once a week, I can't do that now. This has to be like a regular thing. So I won't overdo it, like I might play a few nights and then take a night off, but it's definitely going to be more frequent than the other ones. This is the guy Varen was talking about. Get him! No, no, leave me alone! What's with you? Keep clear! Ah! Oh dear, get them! Wow, you are so daring and cool. <laughs> Thank you, who are you? Lank, what a nice name. I'm the Marku Tree, you are brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambi to build this black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do, haha. <laughs> Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. Dear I'm, uh, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. Ah, uh, I said it. What? What do you mean? What do you mean that Link's gonna marry a tree? I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't remember this. Was this a pl this was a plot point the whole time? I mean, I think it was fine when, you know... We introduced Fish Waifu. I mean, Fish Waifu has been a staple of the Zelda games. But Tree Waifu? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a joke about getting wood, but I'm not just not gonna say it. You've never played a Zelda game, really? Well, I mean, they, they vary. But they are, they are fun games. Like, this is one of the ones that's pretty early on, so... I think it was pretty cool, though, what they were able to do on a Game Boy. Like, this was way more featured than in any other ones on the NES. But it's definitely one of those things that, like, people get shocked if you say that. I mean, it's possible to never have played a Zelda game. Okay, I'm just slashing grass up here, there's nothing to do. Welcome, Lank. I am Faror, Oracle of Secrets. 
This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. I can give shape to powerful secrets that I remember. Do you know the secret to moving through time? Uh, yes. Oh. I think this is where I exit, uh, enter the code from the previous game. Maybe. Let's see. This was, this was a cool feature. Continuity, but, oh no, this is, okay, this is different. This is five. Yeah, it's five characters, so it's not this. That's wrong! Okay. Come back anytime. I don't know what it is then. I could probably look it up, but it's okay. Uh, it's weird. It all seems foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you, you're Lank! Lank! Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. Don't you remember hundreds of years ago, Lank? You promised. I didn't promise anything. When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Lank. I didn't say anything! 400 years I waited. But... I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here? Why won't you listen to me? Fine, you want to talk about Varen, right? Maybe Varen is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens if one of impure heart gains the powers of shadow. This world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. I know the past is to know the present. Varen can do this as she pleases. If she finds dark power in the past, all will go dark. Lank, you must stop Varen and save Nehru. Must I say it again? No. I don't recall, but I think you need the essences of time hidden in Labrinia to beat Varen. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't beat Varen if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the instances, I'll remember everything, and you'll be able to stop Varen. Please do this, Lank. First, I want you to go to your graveyard to the east. I hear the first essence is there. I can't do much, but take this. The ember seeds in this seed satchel will offer light in dark places and burn small trees from your path. Okay. You can literally climb inside her. Yeah, I didn't want to make the joke. I mean, there's plenty of innuendo you can use here, like getting wood. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not gonna touch that. I'm good. I mean, usually it's it's a it's a fish waifu. A tree waifu is, is definitely something I don't remember. But then again, when I play Wario, I certainly did not remember a chicken with boobs. So you know, man. These games were a little unhinged, weren't they? <laughs> I forgot what, which video it is, but there's a video that talks about that, like, throughout all the Zelda games, there's, there's just multiple people that just want to fuck Link. <laughs> it's just... Particularly in, um, Breath of the Wild. Like, it's, a, it's just a theme. Alright, I got sand next to it. So, I don't know. Jeez, I can only imagine what it would be like. 
there's like a direction where it could go with that tree. Like, I forgot what dictionary has acknowledged, um... Like, the English language having the ussy uh, suffix. It's like, it's it's been acknowledged as something as part of, like, uh, the language. Not, not, like, formally, but enough that, yeah, it's, like, widespread. Also awesome. And I hate it. I hate that that's how we are as a society. It was word of the year something or something. Yeah, quite possibly. I just, I just hate that. Okay, yeah, it looks like this requires either the feather or hookshot. Ah, huh, it has a keyhole. Okay. Oh, you look happy. You look friendly. No way, it's too scary. It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree. Shut up, it's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. Honestly, I'd be more afraid of spiders than, than like ghosts, to be honest. I think that's what would stop me from going into one of these things would be just spiders. And I'm from Australia, so, like, you know, I have every right to be afraid of spiders. <laughs> so... I think these require, uh, like, a bracelet, so... Ghosts aren't real, spiders are scarier. I mean, that is true, but I mean, as a kid, right, like, you believe things are, are real when they're not, right? Like, as a rational adult, sure. But as a kid, I would still have that same logic as, like, nah, dude, a spider is scarier. You're a rational child. Oh, I was too, to some degree. Like, sometimes I acted too much like an adult for my own good. But I guess because I always had to act older than what I was. That's, uh... At one of the houses we used to live in. So it had a pretty long driveway. And it had a gate that uh, needed to be opened and closed. So I remember when my dad would come home, or anyone would come home really. It'd be up to one of us to go out and open the gate, which was fine. But at night time it kind of sucked because there wasn't really much light there. And there was um, kind of like a hedge along the way. There's a pretty tall gate as well, and I remember one night when I went to go open the gate, a large spider, like, just jumped. I saw it fly past my face, and then just kind of scuttle off into the night. And, you know, that, that I guess, like, kind of cemented my fear of spiders a little. I hate them, but... I mean... I can, I can deal with them, I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna deal with them, but... I do dislike them, and part of that is- is that reason. This was like comically large spider. Like the kind that has a health bar, you know? And maybe drops like some boots or something, if you kill it. No I don't- <laughs> I'm using the shuffle.
That's... Okay, I, I guess I'm getting... Uh, the bracer in this one. Oh, I just noticed that the ice follow you here. The one thing I will say about this game is just the music. I think the overworld music is good, but I remember some of the dungeon music just being a bit questionable. Like that, this baseline right here. Compass. I was never happy about finding the compass as a kid. I just never relied on it. I think in these games it actually has a secondary purpose where it'll point out if there's a secret secret in the room. But in other games, it, all it did was just point out where the boss room was. Which kind of pointless as you would get there eventually anyway. You know, one thing I'm tempted to get the Nintendo online expansion thing for? Um, so the Game Boy Advance version of uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. And I refuse to call it by its official title because that naming convention was so stupid for that series. It was like... Super Mario Advanced for uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Like, it was something really confusing. So it was like, the fourth game in the series in Game Boy Advance... But then it was Super Mario Bros. 3. It was one of the worst naming conventions ever. Anyway, the addition of that game has extra levels that you could only play if you got these, um, these cards on an e-reader. And so they've kind of been lost to time. Like, unless you have the cards and the e-reader accessory, which are kind of expensive now. There's no way you can play those levels, and the online service is going to have those levels as part of the game, which is pretty cool. And I always had a curiosity about them, because, you know, that game is one of my favorites, so... I think I might revisit Super Mario Bros. 3 and play that. At some point. I don't know. Maybe when the, more of the titles are available. As right now... I don't know. Seems a bit light. Okay, there's no secret there. Oh. I wonder what the colors represent, anyway. But I was always wanting to try those levels out, but... One, I never had a Game Boy Advance. And even when it was time where I could have some of the games. Just the E-Rater thing was just a very short-lived accessory. So it would, it would be cool to see like new official levels for that game. There were quite a few of them. I think I just should ignore it. Oh, this is where the big key is already. Then I shouldn't be here.
I just want to see if maybe taking this out reveals something. Probably not. I think it's just respawning. Yeah, I think if there was anything in here, I would have gotten it. I'm just gonna ignore it and push the blocks. Alright. Nothing here. I think, yeah, let's just double back here. Oh boy. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get that heart pace in this game. I think this is just a... <sighs> I mean, whatever. Okay, there's something in this room as well. Pretty lengthy for a first dungeon, I gotta say. Usually first dungeons are very linear and to the point. Ah! It's slowing me down. Okay. Nope, it's not that. Dude, I tried using my sword against that and it's just... There we go. It's gotta be quicker. Okay, I overcomplicated it. I thought it was, uh, use something. Use the item you found in the dungeon to defeat the boss. The classic staple of the series. But no, it wasn't that at all. It was just straight. Straight up just sword swipe and nothing else. I don't have a key. Okay. I think this is a case where I need to... Go back to the start and then backtrack. Yeah, but this is been in here. This room. I want to see what Baron Color has on this. It's still blue. Hang on. I need to get a different different color. It's still blue. How do I make this not blue? Okay, now it's red or yellow. Here we go. 
That did nothing. Don't want it red again. I want to see what yellow does. Blue, yellow. Nothing. Ah, well, I mean... <laughs> I suppose I can see where I haven't been. I gotta say, it's a little disappointing. I thought maybe it would reward you for doing different colours, but I guess not. something here. I think it's once I have the bracelet I need to move stuff. Ah-ha! Uh okay. <laughs> this is probably taking me twice as long. I've definitely had to go through the rooms too many times. Treasure has to be close. There it is. See, this is what I like about this, because this reminds me of Zelda 1. Okay. Sucker for that nostalgia. It's kind of interesting because you never required the bracelet to open these jars up. In other games, it was just boulders, so. I did always find this weird because I played A Link to the Past before I played this one. And I think this was jarring to me as a kid because I was like, oh, wait, you can't? You can't just lift up pots. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, that was the other thing as well, is like... Wait, there we go. You could move them. There's the big key. Alright, now we can leave. I think it's easier to just come through here. And then just go back. What? <laughs> this, this looks like the enemy from Elden Ring. Except for some reason has like a flavor flavor medallion. Well, that was uh that was a fight. <laughs> I struggled more with the uh the halfway boss to be honest. You got the eternal spirit and essence of time. 
Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. I can't wait until we get back onto the games where Link is just screaming at the top of his lungs with every single action he does. I mean, playing Breath of the Wild did make me miss that, and when I went back to Ocarina, it was great. Just stuff like that. Anyway, it's me, the Maku Tree. I hear an essence echoing in the Western Woods. Can you go there? Okay. Western Woods. You got it. Just you'd be like... <laughs> okay, I have to let this happen because there's a heart piece. Oh, that just sucks. You know what sucks about this is I can't fetch it. Like, I, I got- I got boned here pretty hard. She's gonna get all my possessions. But the thing is, you have to keep doing that because, uh... There's a heart piece associated with that. Finally, someone came. This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Okay. What a happy ghost. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. Oh no, it just uses the stairs to go to the afterlife, I see. <laughs> you came out since I'm moving on. Don't need this anymore, take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon too. The Poe Clock. It lightens the heart? I think this is the fetch quest thing, yeah. Okay. But we we've started the fetch quest. I should have probably kept note of, like, where we needed to lift stuff up. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no. Hello there, do you believe what you see? If you do, I'll teach you something, do you? Yes. In Holodrum's graveyard, there is but one grave with no flowers. If you tell the one inside the grave the secret I'm about to tell you, something good will happen. You understand? Yes. The secret is... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm screenshotting that. Okay. I'm not gonna remember it. Got it? Yes. Good luck. Alright. I mean, it's like, yes, no, question mark, capital B to the right. But I'm not gonna remember that. Okay, grave with no flowers. I think I need to go all the way around. I should probably keep digging as well. Whoops. Accident. Just in the spirit of making money. This one's not very far away, but I'll, I'll plan it. Yeah. 
Yeah! Alright, one more. Gravestone with no flowers, but none of them have any flowers. I don't think this is the right place, so there has to be another spot. Maybe it's not this one. Oh. But I don't think I can do anything here yet, either. Hmm. Let me just hear the instructions again. Stupid bird! <laughs> That's the second time it's gotta be. In Holodrome's graveyard. Oh no. This is the other game. No, no, no. See, this is the other game. Holodrome is the other. T okay, this makes sense. Yeah, I can't do this. This is in Oracle of Seasons that it's talking about. Huh. I wonder. I don't remember something like this happening in the other game. I don't know if that's worth looking into. Probably not. Oh, it's Tingle. I see, I thought it meant this graveyard, but it's talking about the graveyard in the other game. So, it's just another one of those codes that, based on what I've done here, it's gonna do something in the other game. I mean, again, pretty cool feature for, for when this game released. <laughs> okay. use some of this money. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome to Vasu Jewelers. Oh, you don't have a ring box? I like you, so here, take this ring box. You can hold one ring. Alright, appraise. I see, I call this the discovery ring. Sense soft earth nearby. That's what it is. Glad it's your list. I've appraised all your rings. Alright, now we can equip it. Uh, list. Where is it? <laughs> it's the first ring you find, but it's like this far in. Anyway. This was a neat system as well. I don't think we're going to see Tree Waifu yet. What's in here? Hero's Cave. Well, see, now we can... I get the feeling I can't go much further in this. We'll see. This is going to be something very specific. Yep. Oh, I can't push it, push it back down, really? What? Oh, I messed up. 
Okay, I see, I see. It needs to be this thing. I keep forgetting that these you can push. If I push it in, it's, it's bad news. There's no way to fix it, so... Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me... Hmm... Oh, okay. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, I'm guessing this is something that's just a series of trials that I have to do with each item, so I've come here too early. But, I mean, that's fine. I've done two of them already, so... Oh, closes. Boo. Okay, we'll be back here later. Wait, have I gone through here? I'll take it. Where have you been, Lank? Do you remember me? It's Pontus! <laughs> I forgot about Ponis. Oh my god. Mom and Dad are doing well too. Oh my god, that's right, I named the kid Ponis. Alank, we meet again. Do you remember naming our son Ponis? He's quite well. They were talking about Ponis growing up nice and strong. Lank, it's been too long. I've moved to the city too. It's nice to see a familiar face. Oh dear. Glad to see Ponus has grown up to be strong. Ponus has gotten quite big. Ho ho, I am Troy. In my younger days I traveled the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I'm quite dedicated. You show promise if you've come to hear me speak. Just between us, I have seen a terrifying monster that eats shields. How frightful. Yeah, those things are annoying. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. I'm mean, gonna be on the lookout for fetch quest stuff. You can't read it from here. <laughs> Not old bird's house. First time is welcome. Oh yeah, this is tutorial. Let's see. I don't think they said anything useful. Nah, we're good. I think we're okay. That joke goes against our aesthetics, you know. What? So what kind of candy... What kind of candy is never on time? Chocolate. Isn't that a sweet joke? Ugh. Chocolate. What's going on? My grandson has turned into stone. How? Why? Wake up. Call me grandma again.
Lately, folk have been vanishing and turning to stone without warning. What's happening? I am Plen, the mayor here in Lina City. Lina has a long history reaching back hundreds of years. Back then, it was Lina Village. Not a city. But I just love that we come into these people's houses and just destroy their possessions. Okay. That's either a time travel thing or, uh... Probably hook shot. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't look like there's anything else, so let's just try and get to the West Woods. I'm so hungry, my stomach hurts. Ah, I'm hungry. Pardon me, I just thought you could help. Ah, I'm hungry. Okay. Guess nothing yet. I'm guessing that's a fetch quest thing. Oh no, this isn't... okay. I thought there was... there were things that I needed to dig up while I walked into that one. This is our playground! Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide to try to find us. Okay, rock. Inside a bush, I imagine. Inside of another bush, okay. Ready or not, come find us. Okay. Dang, but there's still two more. What? Oh no, this is a weird maze. You found me, but the last one is the hardest. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Sword. Confusing. Okay. Wait, was it here? No, it wasn't here. It looks similar to this. There was a like. There we go. Well, you found us all. You're good, mister. Oh, he found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. That was fun. Let's play again sometime. Alright, good. Wait, can I do it again? You won't find us next time. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it'll probably give me a reward for it. Well, looks like I messed up.
Lank, are you alright? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up the cave from the outside. Too bad Nehru can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nehru's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Yeah, I hate it when I pull out a stone that's like 20 meters away from the house and then the house just comes crumbling down. Interesting architectural choices, just having a support beam separate to the house. I don't want to hear that joke again. Oh wait, I think it's up this way. Yeah, it's up that way. Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I have felt drafts from above. You mean... <laughs> just do that? <laughs> oh. You got the Harp of Ages. I am Nehru, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the Harp of Ages. I do not know you, but it is not by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I hid the harp here knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you. By playing certain tunes on the Harp of Ages, you can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of Echoes. Oh man, that, that tune brings back memories. If you play that tune, you will unlock the powers of time portals found across this land. Step into a time portal to travel through time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that will let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I'm counting on you, unknown hero. It's the echo tune. It will awaken sleeping time portals. Okay. Tutorial! Okay. It's waifu tree. Lank, that's the harp of ages. Maybe you could use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age, but perhaps in the past you can find a way in. Oh man, that music. I mean, I could go see what's in the graveyard in the past. I haven't been there. This remix of like, the first game's theme. Pretty good. I don't recognize this. Oh, this is in the town. The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk. 
Okay. Damn it. I hate when I do that. Oh, that's expensive. Um, maybe the rings. Advance ring? What is this one? Magical ring. Okay. I'm curious about that one. I think the advance one is just Game Boy Advance ring. Not yet. Although... I think I need the item first, but anyway. This isn't good. I want to deliver the mail on time, but I won't do it if I don't know the time. Show him the per clock. Yes. Hmm, tick tock? That tells time. Are you giving me this clock? Don't say a word. Of course you will. What a big help. Here's your reward. Now I'm off to work. I'm a workaholic. Stationary. Who will you write to? Okay. So we've got to look for someone writing a letter. But the fetch quest has begun. Done. Gosh, of seeds. Sprouting, growing, making nuts. And all those new nuts got different stuff inside. Ha! Get rid of it for me. Okay, cool. I know there's soil right by my house, but I don't go planting seeds there. <laughs> Workahol is dangerous. Oh, does it have like a strong concentration? He did say don't plan it, but you know. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, toilet paper. I think this is all I need to do. Paper, do you have any paper? I do, stationery. Give him the stationery. Yes. This was a joke. Yay! Like no one's writing a letter. Hmm. Take this. A stink bag. Ew, it stinks. Oh, did he just... Did, did they just... <laughs> I'm not gonna ask, but I, I think I know what just happened here. It would appear, uh, yeah. We traded for a bag of poop. I am Adlar. For 50 years I was a palace advisor, but I have since been chased from the palace and am now retired. I have known the queen since she was young. She always held the people foremost in her heart. But since she took that girl Nehru in, she changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I be banished, but... Okay. Maybe I can't get to the graveyard in this age yet. I just was curious as to what was there. But it looks like... Oops, wrong thing. It looks like it's been replaced with a house, so they don't have a graveyard here. Like, the path is usually this way. I think this is where it usually is, and then it's gone now. There's no pathway across. Okay, so we can't go that way. We need Rock's Feather. So let's just go west. This is a great theme. There's been no night for many days as if time stopped. Okay, see, this sentence makes more sense. This, the way this one's structured, I can understand what's going on. That first one was horrible. <laughs> it's got so confused. Ah, 
I am Rafton. My dream is to make fine rafts that can sail the seas. I mean, damn, were his parents, like, just... Imagine naming your child Rafton, and then the child ends up selling rafts. I've always found that funny in stories that just kind of name their characters after what they do, and it's kind of like, well, parents would have more or less decided the child's career at point of birth. It's like, yes, this child looks like they're into selling armaments. We'll call them smithy. Ah, yes, our son looks like he would like to sell rafts one day. We shall name him Rafton. My husband gave Queen Ambi that which pleases her, but he was still taken to work on the Black Tower. I want him back. I love that the bats explode <laughs> on hit. It's just... Uh, I doubt getting rid of all of them does anything, but I'll do it. I just can't help myself in early Zelda games just because of how much I got stuck in the first one. I just had to try everything. This is gonna require Rock's Feather, isn't it? Or probably another entry somewhere. another entry. Okay. Ambi's bombs have tremendous power. Somewhere in the woods is a tree that bears a very special seed. I'm looking at this cave, thinking there's treasure inside, but I can't get in with this rock here. Maybe if I could just blast it away. So let me get this straight. Me picking up a rock affected the integrity so much that it um, destroyed the entrance, but me blasting the entrance, no, structural integrity is fine. It's okay, it's gonna remain up. Deep in the woods are magical seeds in an owl statue. When the seeds are placed on the statue, it moves. The first time I saw it, it startled me, but now I find it amusing. But I'm not supposed to go into the woods, so don't tell the adults. What did the queen want? Puzzle seeds? Enigma seeds? It's a mystery to me. Okay, I can go up there. Interesting. I have to find my way around. Oh no, I need explosions here. Yeah, okay, we'll be back. Are you also searching for that which Ambi desires? You should not go any further. There are hordes of terrible beasts. Oh, 
Oh crap. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh god, jeez. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's this far away, but anyway. That's it. Nice. Oh, the, there's the seeds that they were talking about. No thanks. That's if you lose your shield, which... It's not gonna happen here. I'm going to be extra careful. these things. I don't like these things. Okay, just leave them. This is optional. Why, why am I trying to fight optional things? <laughs> no, stop trying to sell me a shield. Although that is a cheaper shield. Oh. I will definitely keep that in mind. Oh, this is horrible! Ooh, okay. Yeah, avoid that. We'll be okay. I'll just use the shovel on the surface. Mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel. Okay. Do not forget to feed me mystery seeds. That's it. That's it! <laughs> that's- that's the advice. seeds. Oh. Those are the mystery seeds Queen Ambi has been demanding. Nice work, kid. I'll take you to the palace. Not bad, kid. You found them. Now come with me to meet the Queen Ambi. And now we get to pick between Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. Queen Ambi, he says he wishes to pay tribute. He brings the mystery seeds your majesty has been seeking. What have you brought before me? Mystery seeds. Nehru desires mystery seeds more than anything else. She'll be most pleased. By what name do you go by, boy? Lank. I offer a reward, Lank. Bring it here. Lank, this is your reward. Take it with great thanks. Ten bombs. Okay, good. My palace is very large. You will not be able to find the way out alone. I shall guide you. Let's go, kid. Oh, you mean I'm going to get lost by walking in a straight line? Will that boy be able to return? 
Yes, your majesty. Lank, ha! You've done well. First, you let me through the barrier. Now you bring me mystery seeds? Such a nice boy. Taking advantage of people's kindness is too easy. This makes one less thing that can obstruct my ambitions. But my, these mystery seeds are unpleasant. Their sight and smell. Hm. Anyhow. Queen Ambi, now with my powers, the flow of time is yours to command. For you, I shall create a day that never ends. So the people will never sleep and work on the tower can continue. And when the tower reaches the heavens, you shall go down in history as the greatest queen to ever live. Oh, I shall also be known as a great queen, Nehru. Oracle of Ages, give me an endless day so the people can work without stopping to rest. Young and old alike will work toward my ends. Yeah, we are closer to the Age of Shadow, but it's still premature. The true shadow will fall when the Black Tower reaches the heavens and I climb to its highest turret. Then it will come. Ah! Okay, anyway. Nice work, kid. Ambi was most pleased. You may now go. I have to walk all the way back to where I was. Okay, this is almost ready. Okay, I have to let this happen. Let me just make sure it happens somewhere here. Okay, she didn't drop it this time. You little! I'll remember this! Yeah. I have to keep doing this until I get the heart container. Did you find what Ambi desires? I did. Okay, we've already discovered that. I'm gonna go to that other cave first, because we needed bombs. doesn't blow it up. Weird. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Probably upgraded bl bracelet then. Alright, I guess to the dungeon we go. Yeah, no structural integrity breach here. Wing dungeon. Okay. Good defense is the best offense against spikes. Shield. Yeah, we know about these enemies. Has to be a different color, I guess. Ooh. Can I go down? I'll get it. This is 
still wrong. Because that's going to go red, blue, red, blue. I think I need to take it further back. Okay. Yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. There we go. Oh, the reflexes on that. I remember there was a way to get rid of these things, but I forget how. dungeon themes, I don't know. They just seem very minimal. They just don't have the same impact as uh, some of the ones in other titles. I should probably do that just so I get rewards. Interesting. There's a way back. What? <laughs> Unless I need this equipped, hang on. There's no way I've just soft locked myself. Okay. So... <laughs> what? No, there has to be another way. Hang on. There's no way this is the end. What have I done? Can I use this to get out, maybe? Nope. Doesn't have the same functionality. Where it takes you to the start of the dungeon. Oh wow, okay, you have to beat everything so the lock is movable. Okay. Oh, 
boy. Yeah, let me get rid of these bats first. Excuse me for believing there's a secret there. Oh, that's annoying. It pushed me back in. And now I have to go all the way back. At least it's save the fact that I beat the snakes. Last time. One with no wings is no match for me. I can probably tell what's about to happen. It's like an earthquake. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not good. I accidentally equipped a shield on the primary hand. Ah! Ooh, that's not good. I don't want to collapse. Oh, crap. It's just straight into a retry, huh? Well... That's, uh, that's kind of brutal. There was no chance to heal before going back in there. I'm gonna go outside. Or maybe... Hang on. I think this is a way to cheese it as well, as you just... That doesn't really give you hearts. I think outside's quicker. Let's just do that. Trusty shovel. Give me health. There we go. It's just easier. I don't need to do this. Confirm me, what's up? You're up late. You're very much enjoying Origami King. That's cool. How are you finding the combat? 
I love the story in that game. The combat was, uh... Except for when Bobby kills himself. <laughs> yeah. I just love how quick... You know, they, they joke about that. You dread every encounter. Yeah. If they had gone with like a classic Paper Mario combat style, that game would be amazing. It's still very good, it's just the combat, oh, sometimes. Man, did it drag on. Did you uh, catch the announcements from the Direct today? yesterday, I guess, now. You don't mind the bosses but bumping into a Goomba costing you five minutes of your life is heinous. Yeah. No, the boss fights are fine. Because they're, they're unique. But everything else is just, oh my god. It's just annoying. If you did not catch the Nintendo Direct, I mean, I can summarize it for you. But there's some pretty good announcements. Unless you want to watch it yourself. I probably shouldn't have gone through the portal. You'd rather a synopsis? Okay, the big one out of nowhere, Metroid Prime got a remake. Um, yeah, HD remaster. It's more than just a simple remaster. It looks like they've redone the models and everything for it. The OG one, yes. And they've given it a modern control scheme. So, like, all the issues of controls are gone. It's like, you have dual analog stick controls. Your metaphorical penis is erect. Oh, no, yeah. Like, do you want to know the best part? It's available now. Like, they dropped it and it's like, yep, now available. So you can buy it now digitally. The physical copy is coming out at the end of the month. Like, man, no one saw it coming, and I'm so happy for about it. How much? Haven't checked. But that is available now. Um, the Kirby remake also has, like, a, uh... The one that's coming out at the end of the month, it has this epilogue. Kind of like how Bowser's Fury was added to the 3D world thing. They've done something similar for Kirby. Um, Pikmin comes out in July, so that's Pikmin 4's release that got revealed. Nintendo Switch Online now has Game Boy games, and the Expansion Pass now has Game Boy Advance games. And the lineup for that is pretty good. The games they have. Um, Minish Cap is on the GBA one. So, there's that. And then, I mean, other stuff, uh, there's another Katamari game being remade if you're into that series, so it's just a remaster of that. Uh, there was a bunch of RPG remakes, I mean, have a look. But Nintendo's major announcements for that, Splatoon, DLC, um... But the major thing was Metroid, and th there's a new uh, Tears of the Kingdom trailer, which, holy crap, some of the stuff they were showing off. Pretty short, but just makes me more excited for it. One sad thing, though, is it's been confirmed that uh, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be Nintendo's first game, but it has a more expensive price point. So kind of like how every other major studio have increased their prices by $10, Tears of the Kingdom will be the first to do that. They didn't mention it in the direct, but the pre-order has confirmed that that's the case. You don't get the Splatoon type hype. I mean, it's a- ugh, I played it, it's fun. It's just one of these things, you just gotta be into it. I think it- 
they dedicate a bit too much time into it in directs, but I guess you can argue the same if you're not a fan of Zelda or other stuff. Um, I'm kind of surprised how much they showed of uh, Metroid and Pikmin. So. I think there's other stuff that I'm missing. The other stuff is third party things, but um... The Metroid Prime thing, oh man. So happy. It's so funny because I was joking about it yesterday, just like, oh, they're not going to add Game Boy games, they're not going to talk about Metroid Prime. They didn't talk about Metroid Prime 4, but... I mean, Metroid fans are eating well. I mean, you look at the stuff that's been released for Metroid, it's been more than anything throughout the years. Also, it is your birthday tomorrow, so... When to- by tomorrow you mean the 9th, right? Or the 10th, cause it's... If it's- if you mean the 9th... Okay, the 10th. Well, when it hits the 10th here, which will be like in an hour... But, happy birthday nonetheless, maybe you- if you sleep by then. <laughs> Got anything planned? I'm kind of lost in this dungeon. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Like, I know it involves the cart, but... I need... Clearly need Brock's feather. Let me look. What am I missing here? There's a treasure chest. Okay. You're on call all day? Ah. All good. I don't have a key. But yeah, go have a look at the uh, the trailer for Metroid Prime. You're gonna be happy. And I was gonna replay them, so I guess it's like... It's possible they're gonna do it to all of them, but we'll see. I, I really hope they do it to all three. Oh. Okay, let's just... With the blue wings, saw over the colored... Okay. But oh, we don't have that yet. Whoops. The thing is, I think what what's happened is just... Whoops. I'm sure that game was supposed to come out sooner, but because of the delay to Metroid Prime 4, they probably adjusted its release schedule. Prime runs like shit on an emulator, low on specs, you're glad you'll have a different platform to play it on. Not just that, it's just... it's... it's a remaster of it, and a good one. Like, everyone's been just talking about how good it looks and that it's not just a lazy remaster. It's closer to a remake than a remaster. Because the models have been redone. I don't think I can make it across that gap. You need Nintendo to release a 1080p every game system. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping whatever they do next, it's gonna... Ooh. This is interesting. I think I need to do... I mean, the Switch is feeling its age for sure. And I mean, even before that, it wasn't exactly the greatest. I can't push that block. What does this suggest? With the blue wings soar over the colored heights. Okay. We'll see. I 
I mean, I'd be surprised if they don't talk about the Switch's successor before the end of the year. Or whatever's coming next. Okay, that just despawned. That's great. No, you can't make that jump. I tried. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well. <laughs> Go back. You wonder what they're gonna do next. The Switch format is god tier and it really needs to be tweaked. See, I don't know. See, I'm thinking one of two things are going to happen. It's either gonna be something where they'll keep the Switch format and that'll effectively become the new DS, right? Like they're not gonna change the Switch and it'll remain. And then they might just introduce something that is just a dedicated box that still plays Switch games, but it's just like for the home. So you have the games running on the Switch and that's your portable machine. And then you have this box that plays them as well, but can play them obviously at like better frame rates and resolution. I feel like that's a logical step. So then you can pick between the portable and the home console. And then it's like just a single game library. You really hope they don't do VR. I feel like they won't. They might do something weird, but not VR. Like they're always wanting to mess around with something new. But I feel like VR is just too common. Like it might be a unique spin on it. Soar over the colored blocks. Oh. Okay. There we go, that's how this works. Watch them release holograms, maybe. I wouldn't put it past them. Okay, that's how this works. Now I understand. But I mean, at worst, all they're gonna do is just release whatever they have already, just with upgraded specs. But who knows? Okay, that makes sense. I mean, the Switch is in year six now, so... If they do announce it at the end of the year, I would expect, like, a release date of March next year. A Switch Lite OLED would be hot. Yeah, that screen is, is kind of amazing. And I do like the light's form factor. Okay. But we'll see. So really the only console missing from their online service emulation is, uh, the GameCube. Okay, let me see what's in here first. Which, uh, I'm not 100% convinced they're gonna do that console, but... Maybe, or maybe all I need to do is just make, like, a facetious joke about it next time there's a Direct and it'll happen. Because it worked this time. Oh, this just takes me back out here, but I have two keys now. So p many people emulate it, don't think it would be worth it. I mean, you could say the same about Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. It's... it's one of those things that it's just been done to death. The GBA library has certainly made their expansion service more tempting for me. There's a lot of GBA games that I just 
didn't play because I didn't have one, and quite a few of them are really good. Um, particularly in the Metroid series, like, you have Zero Mission, which is a remake of the first Metroid game, and Fusion was also another good one. You had a pink GBA? Or the, the first model or the, the clamshell? OG, he left it on a swing during a three-day storm and it survived. <laughs> yeah, I mean... There was that Game Boy that was taken to Iraq in the 90s that survived, like, an explosion. Still functional. Like, those things were built to last back then. Yeah, there's so many GBA titles that I would love to play. You look at a 3DS wrong and its hinge goes flop. The very first uh, line of DSs, they had a pretty high rate of, uh, not failure, but like the defect was that the hinge would eventually break. The first DS I owned definitely had that problem. And I had to replace it, like, about a year after I got it. And just the sound it makes when you open the hinge. I just always had that paranoia that it was going to happen again. And you only had a DSi, those things were slick. Oh, they were. DS, just, like, the best handheld era. Game Boy and DS are, like, the best handheld eras. I mean, the Switch, it's, it's like, it's revolutionary. And the moment I saw that thing, I was like, yep, I'm getting that thing. It was, like, a no-brainer. But the fondness of the game libraries for me is Game Boy and uh, the DS library. Do I- I think I have to move these. Okay. The Switch was a home run, but you hardly consider it a handheld. Yeah. Wait, what? Do these move? I mean, the solution was... Hang on. So these tiles aren't changing color. Neither is this one. This one is. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, that means this is the color you can move. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we can move blue. Oh uh, yeah, on the topic of like DS, now that we're talking about it, uh, Professor Layton is coming to the Switch as well. It's like another series from the DS. Okay, there we go. There's two doors here. I see. This is kind of neat. 
They're like chameleons almost. Man, these games were so cool. I mean, particularly for me, because I had uh, an NES and grew up with that, and just seeing that these Game Boy games could do better than an NES. You need a new Tony Hawk game? A new one or a remake? Because they remade one and two recently. And I mean, that was considered the gold standard of Tony Hawk games. Oh yeah, Advance Wars uh, has a release date as well. It's out of release limbo, so that's coming out in April. That was the other one. I was trying to remember, there was one other one that was like Nintendo first party and it has a release date now. Red face, fear smoke. So, bombs, okay. What the? <laughs> okay, so this is like... Oh my god, that was... <laughs> that timing. That was so accidental, it wasn't funny. Oops. I kind of accidentally hit that. Oh, you can only... Okay, I see. Oh my god, this is hard. I need the feather again. Okay. Yeah, that's not an easy boss fight. Uh, before I go, I should probably go outside. Okay, the other thing that I forgot to do today is figure out what time zone I'm going to set my DS for Animal Crossing. I think it has to be a European time zone, so then it's, like, during the day now. Because there's no point in me playing it with my time zone. It's, like, 11pm, nothing will be open, so... I'm going to have to change the time zone on it. The floor of Animal Crossing. A little bit, yeah. Oh, no. I have to go through all this again. But I'm excited. I never played New Leaf. Also, managed to get a copy of Wind Waker HD, so we're good for when I get up to Wind Waker in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
had some good pickups. Like, I found a copy of Thousand Year Door, nice and... Well, not cheap, but, like, definitely better than, than what... Some people are having to pay for that thing nowadays. And yeah, just... Wind Waker HD, so... Wind Waker is god tier. I'm looking forward to it. I just never got to play it because it didn't have a GameCube. And didn't have a Wii U either, so it's like... Both times that game was released, I kind of... Wasn't able to play it. But I'm excited. And, uh, I need to find Twilight Princess HD. But that one shouldn't be too hard. Nobody had a Wii U. Yeah, that's why the... Not all games, but definitely the Nintendo ones are, are more expensive for sure. I should probably... I don't think I found a heart piece in this dungeon. I should probably just make sure there isn't one. This is an annoying boss. Gotcha. But like... That was a hit, right? It's not an easy fight. I don't think the sword does anything, so... Let's just go feather. But, like, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing here. Oh, no. This boss is so hard! It's kind of annoying. <laughs> it just spins too quickly. The timing on it is, is not easy. I think I got one hit on it. They're bringing back some other series that was on the DS. It's like similar to Animal Crossing. What was the name of it? Hang on. I'm trying to remember. Something Life. Um. Just a sec. Everything announced at the Direct. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so talked about these. Don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Fantasy Life. That's the one. That was on the DS. And people said it was a good game. Tomodachi. No, pe people were hopeful for that one. It's uh, Fantasy Life. didn't equip the shield like an idiot. I don't like this boss. <laughs> to be an issue. Let me see if there's... 
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that was weird. Anyway. I've explored every room, so I guess it's fine. Oh, I gotta go below first. I remember. Tomodachi Life would be a good one to bring back. I mean, they brought back Metopia, and that, that was good. I have seen playthroughs of Tomodachi Life and just how insane it can get. me go through so much just to retry this boss. I guess that's the reality of it. Like, I can't just go back there. The other thing that I'm not sure how I feel about is, like, I assume it's the voice actor for Ganon, but the trailer showed off the voice, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of in the same vein of, like, Zelda's voice in that game. I think I just need to be more used to it. movie looks funny. Wait, what movie? There's no Zelda movie, is there? Well, you're talking about something else. The Mario movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna watch it, but, you know, Chris Pratt's voice just hasn't convinced me. I think that movie's gonna get carried by everyone else. <laughs> just... What? If I feel like I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna leave. Because I, I haven't hit it yet, so it's... Just, this is not going well. Wow, this, this fight sucks. Dude, okay. Ugh, I don't like this fight. It's kind of clunky. But yeah, they should have kept it text-based. We'll see. They didn't talk about the Mario movie, which is surprising. Like it was all game announcements. I kind of half expected for them to touch on it, but nope. They've already started the marketing for that movie, even though it's months away, a um, couple months away. Like, McDonald's here has, uh, Mario movie toys already. They're like these miniature paper 
Well, not paper, but like... Cardboard models, I guess, that you can make. I felt tempted to go get one. Because they do look pretty cool. And just have it as like a shelf decoration. Like there's one of the plumber plumbing van, which looked pretty neat. I'm not going to survive very long and they were two hearts. Like, I'm not going to beat this boss like that. Okay, I'm going to do this room in the hope that maybe I'll heal off it. Jump twice. What are you going to do now? If I fail this time, I might just see what people recommend as a strategy for this, because this is a, this is kind of annoying. I don't want to be here for an hour. I want to play Animal Crossing. I nail it that way, but then... Maybe I'm being too hasty with it. But see, this is why it's so annoying. What's happening? Got the red one. Sword doesn't work here. Is this really that I have to hit the red one every time? Okay, stay away for now. gonna wait for the fire. Yep. Ah, oh, come on, that was red. It's gonna be purple. I think I just have to be patient. Practic ah! It's practically a slot machine. I don't like this boss. <laughs> it's probably the safest place I can be here. Okay, just wait. Okay, I need I need those bombs. I have to get them. Come on! 
<laughs> really? That missed. I can't believe that missed. No. Yeah, what a what a fun fight. <laughs> this reminds me of the fight that I had so many problems with yesterday in Warrior for the same reasons. Just like RNG and timing, just hoping that you're gonna be at the right position at the right time and then hoping that the enemy doesn't attack as well. All right. <laughs> the sad part is I'm not sure if I did any better. I did... Didn't die as quick, but that doesn't mean I did better. Oh, come on. So much for doing this in one continue. <laughs> I think what's hurting the most is just having to backtrack all this. I mean, I guess this is okay because it gives you this every time, but... Doesn't make it any less annoying. Okay. I'm trying to see like how I can time it so it hits red. That was pink. Close. <laughs> this boss is a, a literal slot machine. patient. Ah! <laughs> this is so frustrating. I hate that that doesn't count, like it has to be dead center.
Got it! There's a red. There's a hit. Yes! Oh, and it gives you a heart too. Okay. This is a true exercise in patience. Nope, go back. Oh no! No! I missed! That's green. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I just slightly missed. going for it right away. Got it! <laughs> Please let this be only three hits. Should get the heart. Okay, okay, okay. One more. Maybe one more. Hopefully one more. Ah! Just missed. No, that's blue. That's bad. Blue is bad. Blue is the bad one. This is the one that's really annoying to avoid. Oh. It didn't do what it did last time. I hit green again, didn't I? Just missed the red. <laughs> no, I got blue. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's be patient. Oh my god. this fight. I'm, just, I'm so close. Drop it. I just have to be patient. Suck! <laughs> it's just... It's so uh, much up to RNG, it's not funny. Right place at the right time, the boss. Okay, I'm glad that missed. I feel like it just doesn't line up. Ah, oh, I just missed it.
Maybe I have to do this. I'm trying to lob it, but it, it doesn't seem to work. It, it just doesn't seem like when I stand on it, it's gonna align. Like, I, I almost have to throw it at this point. I've tried so many times and it just doesn't align up. Oh, what? That was a little frustrating. Yeah, I have to throw it. I have to throw it. It's the only way it's going in. It's just, there's too much of a delay. This is such a frustrating fight. Especially because of that. I'm about to die. Can I throw it from here? Maybe. Did it... did that work? Not blue. Okay, I can reach it from here. So I guess just keep trying like this. You dick. <laughs> Just fight. Oh, I'm so over it. I don't like it at all. Alright, but at least I guess now I know I can throw it from that spot. So I might be able to do it quicker this time. It's fine. I guess I just watch the color it has to be when I need to throw the bomb and then... That should be it. So long winded. Okay. This is the one. <laughs> I'm getting this done. I think that was red. 
That was already... Bam. Nailed it. Already hit it once. Okay, so I need to throw when pink is active, which is... Okay, blue. When I say blue, run. Okay, when I see blue run, it's already two hits. Jeez, this feels trivial now. We'll see. Ah, okay. oh, just the bounce got got it wrong. Almost. I think it's slightly quicker now. I think I need to go sooner. I think I need to go on green. Yeah, it's definitely quicker. Yes! <laughs> there it is. Please let that be the last hit. It's not. Oh, God damn it. Okay. This is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, at this point, is it better to go on the platform? I'm not sure. I guess this is kind of just a pot shot at this point. No, that was... Okay, stand here. This is a safe spot for blue. Nearly. Can add the pot shot this. Like, this is just throw it in, hope for the best. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. I think that was red. Yes. Oh, it's over. What a horrible fight. Oh, I'm so glad this is over. Christmas tree, air scent. <laughs> you got ancient wood, an essence of time. It whispers only truth. To close ears from out of the stillness. That took way too long. Ugh. Once I figured out the spot, that was it. Blank. I sense an essence of time on the South Seas, Crescent Island. Find a way there, from the town's coast. Okay, well, I'm gonna head back to town. Oops, no! We got the feather now, so... Ugh, man, it just took way too long. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do here. I'll go have a look. to be able to leap across. Oh yeah, this is this cave. Okay, I know where I am. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. It's just the tree. Okay. Okay. 
Oh uh, yeah, there was also this cave here. I think now that I have the feather, I should be able to do it. Let's see. It's kind of a bait. Like, you just do that. There we go. It's just a seed. Be gone. So, there's something to this boulder. Maybe. Or maybe that's all there was to it. I don't know. Anyway, that. I'll keep in the back of my mind, but I doubt there's anything else to it. Feeling I probably shouldn't be here. Oh. This seems. Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say it's strangely straightforward, but no. Hang on. There's more to it. Can I assume that this is just gonna collapse underneath me? easier than expected. Oh, it's the witch. I have to let it collide with me. There's a ring. Mine. You can have the heart. I want the money. Ah! Oh, you little. Okay. Well, I got we got a ring out of it, so that's nice. Planet. Okay. I gotta remember where I plant these things. <laughs> I tend to forget, but I guess since I won't be waiting a week to play this. Oh, there's no way up there. Alright, but that's fine. I'm not counting on getting that heart. Okay, we got a spot here. Okay. How do you do this again? Hang on. There it is. I know that the shortcut to save and quit. This is a good stopping point. Good start to the game. Having fun with it. Uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow, maybe? One thing that I want to do this weekend, uh, since Next Fest is on, I'm gonna check out a bunch of game demos of various things, so I do want to do that. But uh, we'll definitely continue this, so. If you're enjoying it so far and reach this far in the VOD later on YouTube, thanks for watching. And yeah, you know, do the thumbs up thing if you want to see more retro games or stuff like this. It lets me know people are enjoying it. Plus also helps with the algorithm. For those of you watching live now, uh, short intermission and then we're gonna start Animal Crossing New Leaf. I just need a few minutes to one, set it up, and two, 
get myself a beverage and go to the bathroom. So, you know, just give me a bit. I'll put some music on, but it won't be too long. But if you're here for Oracle of uh, Ages, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll do more of it soon. <laughs>